Hello, dear students. Once again, welcome to another lecture of the course Industrial Wastewater Treatment. In last lecture, we talked about three methods of strength reduction. And today, we will discuss about remaining methods of strength reduction for wastewater in industry. So, the first three methods we have discussed, process change, segregation of waste and equipment modification. And today, we will talk about equalization, proportioning and byproduct recovery. So, method number four equalization now what it is it is opposite of segregation of waste and here we mix all waste water uh, which is uh, resulting from various uh, section okay so instead of segregating we are mixing all the streams of waste water now what it does, so this imparts homogeneous characteristics. Since in each section, the chemicals used, the process carried out, they are different and hence the wastewater from each source has different characteristics. And by doing equalization, we impart the homogeneous characteristics to this wastewater. Simultaneously, there is dilution of strong wastewater by equalization and if the wastewater has putrescible nature, that is readily biodegradable organic matter, if it is present, then during equalization along with mixing aeration also is required. The purpose of the aeration is to prevent arising of anaerobic condition because of biodegradation of organic matter. The next method, it is proportioning. Now, it's given this name because here what we do is we segregate the concentrated waste water and then these concentrated strong in nature waste water is mixed with other waste water in proportion of volume of that dilute waste water. So, whenever the volume of Wastewater which is not strong in nature is more, then you can mix more of concentrated waste in it. And when the volume of other waste stream is less, then you mix less of concentrated wastewater into it. So, by proportioning the quantity of strong wastewater, mixing in uh, less strong or weak or wastewater, we call it proportioning. Now, purpose of proportioning is to avoid shock load and just by doing this proportioning, you can impart more or less homogeneous characteristics to wastewater and there is no sudden overload we call shock load especially for biological treatment for microbiolo uh, microorganism the shock load is prevented otherwise microorganism cannot function because especially for aerobic system it is difficult to maintain oxygen level when the strength of waste is high and it may result in death of microorganism because of unavailability of 
oxygen. So, this technique is very, very useful in places where joint treatment of industrial wastewater along with sewage is carried out. So, proportioning is one of the method of strength reduction and the last method is byproduct recovery. Now, here we do not do anything to reduce the quantity of waste and uh, before disposal you try to recover something. So, this will also not solve the problem of disposal completely, but there is considerable reduction in problems associated with disposal of wastewaters and simultaneously it also offers opportunity for twofold benefits. One benefit is the gain in economy by selling the byproduct okay? and other one is reduction in cost of treatment for compliance with stipulated standard. So, the both benefits are very critical and uh, the decision regarding byproduct recovery by industry is influenced by these two gains. Now, just pause the video and think what kind of byproduct you can recover from industrial waste which will reduce the strength of wastewater. So, there are two possible recoveries from industrial waste. One, you can recover material and second one, you can recover energy. So, what is material recovery? For example, in pulp and paper industry, in pulp making process, you can recover digestive chemicals from very strong and almost impossible to treat wastewater stream known as black liquor which is uh, results from digestion of the pulp. Another example is in metal plating industry, the heavy and expensive metal can be recovered from discarded or scant spent plating solution. So, you save huge amount of money by recovering the precious metal which otherwise would end up in ETP. For dairy industry, the fat recovered from ETP can be sold to industry manufacturing soap. In the same industry, whey which is wastewater from cheese making, you can recover protein which is very popular for uh, protein source, especially people who use gym or who do a lot of cardiac exercises. You can also recover energy from waste. For example, wastewater having very high biological oxygen demand, you can recover biogas or methane and many industrial wastewater have such BOD value and it is possible to recover biogas by providing anaerobic treatment like anaerobic digester. 
waste water from distillery which is known as pint wash waste water from dairy waste water from tannery etc they have very high potential for biogas recovery this biogas can be used as fuel on the industrial premises itself and it will result in huge saving on account of fuel okay another example is you can recover energy in the form of solid or liquid fuel for example bagas in sugar industry which is nothing but the residue remaining after extraction of juice from sugar cane you can use it as fuel in sugar industry itself the another example of recovery of liquid fuel that is spent wash since it is very rich in organic matter the concentrated spent wash you can spray it on bagas and use it as fuel along with bagas which is solid fuel and recover energy so these are the examples many industrial waste there is potential of energy recovery so i hope you have understood the benefits of material recovery or by product recovery and for industrial waste there is tremendous scope there are dual or multiple benefits of by product recovery so with this we conclude our discussion on methods of strength reduction and in the next lesson we will discuss and try to understand four r concept of waste minimization so thanks everyone